Hello and greetings to you in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you are having a wonderful celebration of these 50 days of Easter. My name is Jonathan Marlowe and I am one of the pastors here at Mount Zion United Methodist Church in Cornelius, North Carolina. Recently on Easter Sunday morning, we sang that great Charles Wesley hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. And just like many other churches across our conference, we sang that song with great joy and exuberance. I'd like to tell you about one of the ways that we here in Cornelius have been experiencing the presence of the risen Christ in our own community, in our own time and place. Recently, Mount Zion United Methodist Church has partnered with two other United Methodist churches here in Cornelius, Inclusion Community and Hunter's Chapel UMC, and together members of these three churches recently went on a Deep South pilgrimage to some places in Alabama that were of particular interest in the, in the civil rights movement. We went to Birmingham where, among other places, we saw the Birmingham City Jail where Martin Luther King had penned his famous letter from a Birmingham City Jail. And we had read parts of that letter outside of where the jail was. We went to Selma, Alabama and we walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge where so many years earlier on that bloody Sunday some brave demonstrators for the Civil Rights Movement had marched across that bridge in their pursuit of human freedom and dignity. We went on to Montgomery, Alabama, where, among other places, we toured uh, Dexter Avenue Baptist Church and the parsonage at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, where Martin Luther King received so many death threats and where his home was even bombed and his family threatened one night as he continued to plan and implement his leadership in the Civil Rights Movement. We also, while we were in Montgomery, went to the Legacy Museum and the National Memorial for Peace and Justice. And when we went to all these places, we were inspired to learn about the history. We even heard from some of the eyewitnesses who had um, been a part of some of this history as children. And now as retired senior citizens, they were passing on those stories to new generations of people. So it was very inspiring to hear about these firsthand accounts of what had happened. But it was more than just a history lesson for the people of these three United Methodist churches in Cornelius. because. As we toured these places, we also had some pretty significant conversations. We had some deep conversations about what it meant for us to see and hear these things and what it would mean for us to implement some of these lessons in our own time and in our own place. We did some deep work asking ourselves, how could we interrupt the cycles of racism that we see in our own world, in our own place, in our own churches, and in our own times? We began to ask ourselves, what would it look like if we embodied the beloved community in the ways that Martin Luther King had embodied it in his time? And as we discussed these deep questions and as we asked ourselves tough questions, we began to reflect on what it would mean when we would come back to Cornelius. We pledged that we would continue to work together, pray together, worship together, and that we would pursue justice, racial equity, and peace together in our own community. So these are some of the ways that the risen Christ has been present among us. We pray that Christ will continue to inspire us across these 50 days and into the future as we await the presence and power of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. God bless you.